गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ इज एडवोकेट राखी बुद्धि राजा आई एम डेली बेस्ड वर्किंग इन वेरियस डिस्ट्रिक कोर्ट्स हाई कोर्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट डी आर टी आर सी टी एंड ऑल्सो वर्किंग फॉर वेरियस बैंक टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट राइट ऑफ ट्रांसजेंडर्स इन जॉब इन इंडिया rights of transgender in jobs in india as per my topic rights of transgender however we have seen there are so many rights provided uh, by, by our constitution to the citizens of our country including transgenders but generally transgenders have not been provided or utilized the rights provided to them due to which they are used to face uh, social uh, problems uh, economical problems and many more problems so let us start with the beginning what is the history of transgender transgender persons had been part of indian societies for centuries transgender community includes hijras enats kothis aravnis jagappas shiv shaktis etc who have been a part of indian society for centuries there was historical evidence of recognition of third sex or person not confirmed to be male or female gender in near beginning writings of ancient india the concept of tritya prakriti or napunsaka had been an integral part of the hindu mythology epic and early vedic and puranic literatures the vedic and puranic literatures mention tritya prakriti meaning the third gender or napunsaka meaning someone with a loss of procreative ability the word hijra used in the indian language appears to be derived uh, derived from the persian word his that is someone who is effeminate or is ineffective or incompetent so lord rama in the epic of ramayana was living in the forest upon being banished from the kingdom for 14 years turn around to his followers and ask all the men and women to return to the city among his followers the hijras alone did feel bound by the direction and decide to stay with him impressed with their loyalty rama sanctioned them the power to confer blessings on people on auspicious occasions like childbirth marriage and also at inaugural functions which it was supposed to set the stage for the custom of badai in which hijras sing dance and confer blessings so let us discuss on the historical evolution of transgender community in india there are four parts we will discuss the ev evolution of transgender community in india in four parts first is mughal part means Mugh mughal period second is british period third is criminalization and uh, uh, magnetization past independence and later on 
contemporary period which is going on so let us move to mughal period transgenders played a famous role in the royal courts of the islamic world particularly in the ottoman empire and mughal rule of the medieval india they rose to well known positions as political advisers administrators generals as well as guardians of the harems hijras were considered clever trustworthy and Financially loyal and had free access to all space and sections of populations, thereby playing a crucial role in the politics of empire building in the Mughal era. The transgender also occupied high position in Islamic religion, especially in guarding the holy places of Mecca and Medina, the persons of trust. they were able to influence state decisions and also received large amount of money to have been closest to kings and queens thus tgs frequently state the role of their status in that period basically in mughal period they were having a a, a good role you can say it, an important role but later on during the british period their position got deteriorated in the beginning of the british period in indian subcontinent transgender used to accept protection and benefits by some indian states through entry the transgender community furthermore the benefits incorporated the provisions of land rights of food and smaller amount of money from agricultural household in exact area which were ultimately removed through british legislation as because the land was not inherited through blood relations next criminalization under the colonial rule through the onset of colonial rule from the 18th century onwards the situation changed drastically accounts of early european travelers showed that they were repulsed by the sight of tgs and could not comprehend it why they were given so much respect in the royal courts and other institutions in the second half of the 19th century the british colonial administration vigorously sought to criminalize the tgs community and to deny them the civil rights tgs were considered to be separate caste or tribe in different parts of india by the colonial administration the criminal tribes act 1871 this included all tgs who were concerned in kidnapping and castrating children and dressed like women to dance in public places the punishment for such activities was up to 2 years imprisonment and a fine or both This pre-partition history influences the vulnerable circumstances of Tejas in his contemporary work. Next, uh, criminalization and marginalization during post-independence era. However, the act was repealed in 1952, and this legacy continues. and many local laws reflected the prejudicial attitudes against certain tribes including against hijras recently the karnataka police act was amended in 2012 to provide for registration and surveillance of hijras who indulge in kidnapping of children unnatural offenses and offenses of this nature like section 36a in a similar vein to the criminal tribe act 1871 according to section 36a karnataka police act 1964 power to regulate nh so preparation and preservation of a register of the names and places of residence of all the annats residing in the area under his charge and who are reasonably suspected of kidnapping or emasculating boys or of committing unnatural offenses or any other offenses 
or abetting the commission of such offenses. Two, piling objections by aggrieved annexed to the inclusion of his name in the register and for removal of his name from the register of reasons to be recorded in writing. Now come to the contemporary period. The transgender in India is possibly the most well-known and popular third type of sex in the modern world. The trans people have existed in every race, class and society since the story of human life has been recorded. The modern term transgender arose in the mid 1990s from the grassroots community of gender different people. There are a host of social cultural groups within trans people in India like Hijras, Kinners, Shiv Shaktis, Jagtas, Jagapas, etc., which I had earlier told you. Though there has been positive, a positive movement for LGBT community in the recent years, many teachers feel there is still a lot more to do in the fight for equality. Let's understand what has been done till date in India for transgender community. The third gender in India have emerged as a strong fashion in the LGBT rights. Now the question arises, what is LGBT? L for lesbian, G, G for gay, B, bisexual, and T, transgender. So welfare policies and schemes introduced by government of India in the contemporary time like census, documentation, issuing of citizenship ID card, issuing passport, social economic development and constitutional safeguards. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation is the National Urban Livelihood Mission and Healthcare Facilities. The Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Development, sorry, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act the major initial of the 11th five-year plan period, which brought employment opportunity for transgender people. The social, economic, and political transforming, housing, legal measure, safeguards to prevent human rights violation of the TG's community and institutional mechanisms to address specific concern of TG's. So, while considering the situation of uh, TGs in our society, in our country, the NALSA filed a writ petition before the Honorable Supreme Court. And the Honorable Supreme Court passed a judgment, white dated 15th of April 2014, in the matter of National Legal Services Authority of India versus Union of India in writ petition civil number 400 oblique 2012 by the two judges bench of Honorable Justice Mr. R. Uh, K. S. Radhakrishnan and Honorable Justice Mr. A. K. Sikri and declare the transgender as third gender and affirm that the fundamental rights granted under the Constitution of India will be equally applicable to the transgender people and give them the right to self-identification of their gender as male, female, or third gender. This judgment is a major step towards gender equality in India. Moreover, the court also held that because transgender people were treated as socially and economically backward classes, they will be granted reservation in admission to educational institutions and jobs. Thereafter, the Transgender Bill 2016 was introduced. As per Transgender Person Protection of Rights Bill 2016, it prohibits discrimination against a transgender person, including unfair treatment 
or denial of services in relation to employment, education, health care, access to public goods and facilities, etc. Also in 2018, the Supreme Court of India discriminalized homosexuality by striking down Section 377 of the Indian Penal Code, turning it unconstitutional in respect of consensual homosexual sex between the adults. So what were the key provisions of the bill about employment opportunities for TGs? Let us start as per Section 3B. Section 3B prohibits the unfair treatment of a transgender person about employment or occupation. Section 3C says or prohibits the denial of employment and discriminatory termination from the same. Section 10 bars establishment from discriminating against a transgender person in matter related to employment, such as recruitment, promotion, and other related issues. Section 11 creates an obligation on establishment to comply with the provisions of the legislation and provide necessary facility, uh, facilities on trans people. Section 12 creates an obligation on every establishment consisting of more than 100 people to appoint a compliance officer who would deal with the complaints regarding violation of the act. Section 15 creates a duty on the appropriate government to formulate welfare schemes and programs to facilitate and support livelihood for TGs, including their vocational trainings and self-employment. Section 17 provides for the formation of a national council by the central government with a representative from the labor and employment department and department of legal affairs among guest others. Section 19D provides for penalties and punishments in the event any person harms, injures or endangers the life, safety, health or well-being of a transgender person or tends to do any act which causes abuse of any nature, whether physical, sexual, verbal, emotional, and or economic abuse. So thereafter, the Transgender Protection of Rights Bill 2018 came into light. A transgender person may make an application to the district magistrate as per well this bill, a transgender person may make an application to the district magistrate for issuing a certificate of identity as a transgender person in such form and manner and accompanied with such document as may be prescribed, provided that the case of a minor child, such application shall be made by a parent or guardian of such child. I'm repeating again, a transgender person may make an application to the district magistrate for issuing certificate of his identity as a transgender person in such form and manner which is prescribed in the bill or act accompanied with the document which shows that or which discloses that he is a tg provision what is the provision? Provision is that in case of a minor child, such application shall be made by a parent or guardian of such child. On the receipt of an application, the district magistrate shall refer such application to the district screening committee to be constituted by the appropriate government for the purpose of recognition of transgender purpose. Transgender person ki application milne ke baad, Duty, uh, district magistrate jo hai, district screening committee ko application forward karega and now what is the district screening committee who are the members of district screening committee district screening committee consists of five members one is chief medical officer, second, district social welfare officer, third, 
a psychologist or psychiatrist fourth a representative of tg's committee that is mandatory to be present there a representative of tg's committee an officer of the appropriate government to be nominated by the government all five members are must to be present in the district screening committee of the district the district magistrate shall issue to the applicant a certificate of identity as transgender person on the basis of the recommendations made by the district screening committee indicating the gender of such person as transgender the gender of transgender person shall be recorded in all official documents in accordance with the certificate issued to him or her a certificate issued to a person shall confer rights and be a proof of recognition of his identity as a transgender person after the issue of certificate if a transgender person undergoes through a surgery to change gender either as a male or female such person may make an application along with a certificate issued to that effect by the medical superintendent or chief medical officer of the medical institution in which that person has undergone surgery to the district magistrate for revised certificate that is not a, that once any tg has got the certificate uh, from uh, district magistrate he can't uh, revise it or uh, he can but this is the condition under which he can file an application along with the certificate of medical institution thereby he can see the revised certificate the district magistrate shall on receipt of an application along with the certificate and on being satisfied with the correctness of such certificate issue a certificate indicating change in gender initially the certificate will be issued of uh, tg certificate now the certificate will be issued change in gender or revised certificate the person who has been issued a certificate of identity or a revised certificate shall be entitled to change the first name in the birth certificate and all other official documents relating to the identity of such person provided that such change in gender and the issue of revised certificate shall not affect the rights and entitlement of such person under this act now thereafter the transgender persons protection of rights act 2019 came into light this act finally passed on 26 november 2019 signed and assented to on 5th of december 2019 and finally commenced on 10th of january 2020 indian transgender people who were the first in their field let's take a look at the successful transgender people who broke the shackles to become the first ones to achieve big in their area of interest from academics to politics see india's first transgender lawyer that is satyashri sharmila first transgender lawyer satyashri sharmila first transgender judge joyita mondal inka to naam bhi bahut news mein papers mein magazines mein bahut naam print hua india's first transgender police officer prithika yashini india's first transgender police officer prithika yashini india's first transgender college principal college principal 
मन भी बंदोपाध्याय इंडिया फर्स्ट ट्रांसजेंडर पर्सन टू कंस्टेस्ट इलेक्शन श्री इज मुमताज इंडिया फर्स्ट ट्रांसजेंडर हु बिकेम एन एम एल ए शबनम मोसी इंडिया फर्स्ट ट्रांसजेंडर सोल्जर शाबी I am repeating again the name. India's first transgender lawyer, Satya Shri Sharmila. India's first transgender judge, Joyita Mondal. India's first transgender police officer, Prithika Jashini. India's first transgender college principal, Manubi Bandopadhyay. India's first transgender person to contest elections Mumtaz India's first transgender who became an MLA Shabnam Mosi India's first transgender soldier Shabi It is not easy to face the world when you are constantly being looked down upon for your sexuality almost every transgender person has to face the abusive behavior in the society they live in to make their lives better and to make a mark with this identity they have to take the tough path we are used to see generally on the uh, road during the red light green light uh, they they are used to beg for money some of us are used to pay them some of our, uh, us are used to score them some of are used to abuse them so it is not uh, an easy task is uh, or easy life uh, of uh, tgs unlike all of us a transgender career path is not simple and straight for they have to make extra efforts to be accepted in the world of commoners to prove themselves efficient and of people like earlier i had mentioned who became india's first transgender in the field they entered have a set record in their respective fields so they had done when there was no specific uh, act or specific law no facility from uh, uh, our constitution but now our constitution has provided them uh, the act even the supreme court has given uh, uh, the judgment which i had mentioned in my ppt and uh, uh, the government has also provided various schemes which i had already mentioned so when the tgs can get the success in their respective field they had chosen or they had entered without these uh, facilities then think with these facilities with laws with the uh, many schemes uh, government schemes and with uh, basically uh, our efforts efforts of general public main thing is that efforts of general public because only this is the general public including me including you who are used to tease them by passing wrong comments so my saying is that please don't tease them because whatever they are that is not their choice that is a god gifted to them they are also part and parcel of our society these days uh, they are also getting uh, on their they are going on their path and they are getting a uh, their career and their reputation like a commoners then why we should tease them we should not basically i salute them whatever they are and these transgenders who have become the idols for the tgs communities i'm again st uh, stating to you i'm again requesting to you 
प्लीज डोंट टीज और डोंट स्कोल डोंट अब्यूज द टीजीज हु आर हेल्पलेस वी कैन इन्फॉर्म दैम अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स वट एवर आर फॉर द टीजीज वी कैन इन्फॉर्म दैम अबाउट द लॉज प्रोवाइडेड टू दैम बाय द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वी कैन यू से वी कैन प्रोवोक दैम इंस्टिगेट दैम टू गो टू स्टडीज बिकॉज इवन गवर्नमेंट प्लस आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हैज प्रोवाइडेड दैम सो मैनी राइट्स इन जॉब्स इन एम्प्लॉयमेंट विच आई हैड ऑलरेडी मैंशन मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम विच आई हैव कम टू नो दैट इन बेसिकली विलेज एरियाज जनरली द टीजीज आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट द देयर राइट्स इन मेट्रोपोलिटन सिटीज they are well aware but in lower areas in uh, backward areas or you can say uh, in uh, villages they are not aware so i think if you are aware or if you are getting my point then we can we can tell them they can uh, improve their life they are used to go to uh, begging they can leave the the begging or uh, uh, their children or uh, their uh, uh, ancestors they can send them to schools and colleges and they can improve their life in a better way by get, uh, by using these schemes and uh, opportunities provided by our constitution by our government so i just wanted to say this thing only don't hate transgenders thank you uh if anyone has uh, the query regarding the act or regarding the bill you can ask i think there is no question yet so we are ending the session good night good night everybody